I actually have a question for Barbara, if I may. Just a clarification of the statement you made. Um, do you have any information on the equipment value of our department versus the equipment value of Meredith? No. I just know yeah. the total figure that they... But, they're, they're, but there's apples and oranges. Well, their yearly budget is a million dollars less. And how many full-time firefighters do they have? They have a, uh, they have a... A. Chief. Chief. This, this one, this one, clarification. Thank you. And John, uh, if I may, Meredith operates two, two stations, and um, I, I can't speak to all that fire trucks, but they have a fairly new uh, platform, which is a million dollar plus truck. They're about the same physical size. Um, their population is a, a slightly less, but they have more, uh, $300 million more in assessed value. So you might say they have more property, higher value property to protect. I just want to make sure we're talking apples and oranges and, and from your comment that you have made before. <clears throat> Are there any more uh, members of the public who would like to address this issue? Okay, thank you very much. Then we will go back to Oh, just don't scratch your head. <laughs> um, I don't have a bad time. Oh, okay. <laughs> so thank you all for coming tonight. And um, the next, um, we will continue our discussion right now. And I believe the next session um, for uh, on this issue would be held here on Wednesday the 20th of June at 7 o'clock in the evening. And it will be a debate on the warrant article. Mm -hmm. Correct? Deliberative session. And then the election will be held on Tuesday the 31st at 7 o'clock in the morning till 7 p.m. July. And that's July. Phyllis, what was that, that the Wednesday date again? The Wednesday date is the 20th of June at 7 p.m. Yes. Um, I first heard last night, um, just that evidently we're satisfying a, actually the fire department may help too, we're satisfying a bond issue on breathing equipment. Is, is that going to affect, I should have called you and answered this earlier, but is that going to affect, uh, is that a good offset? It doesn't sound like it's anywhere close to the cost. <laughs> Um, I, I, in my role as time minister, I try to stay away from saying what is good and what is not good. So uh, what I can tell you is that in 2012, this current year, we are making the third and final payment of $56,000 on the new breathing apparatus that was acquired in 2009. Um, so this, if this $51,000 approximately appropriation is approved, this would, in essence, um, replace what had been a $56,000 annual payment for breathing apparatus. So looks like we well, the breathing apparatus. Does anybody know? I don't. What the next time that can be replaced? I don't know. Does anybody know? Maybe they got dated. Eight or ten years from. I'll take the So the last payment being made, uh, how old is the equipment now? Three years. Three years. So roughly seven years you expect uh, before you might look at that again okay yeah. and the exact savings would be fifty six thousand three hundred and thirteen dollars that's what we third year that's what we've been paying so, so i will open it up oh i do have a couple of questions actually um when you borrow equipment chief how long do we keep it and how i mean when we're borrowing from laconia if we need to is it on a her yes, city. as needed basis. As a need. um, the the one time so far that we borrowed it, we've called in the morning, gone and picked it up, and returned it at the end of the day when the repairs were done on our engine. And how long is engine two out? Usually, if you have to, if it has to go out for, um, we don't know how how long we'd be able to get another truck from the company. Right, and and it's clearly dependent upon the availability of that truck as well. Um, it, it, I guess that's the difficulty with the, with the arrangement is that, number one, we don't know if it's going to be available to us. Uh, number two, uh, we don't always know what the extent of time that our vehicles are going to be out of service as well either. 
Yeah, it's not stationed there. Yes, it goes back and forth. And my other question was of on <coughs> the show that we just have with all of the on the pictures. Are none if my understanding then was that none of the damages to the pump were visible to the naked eye. You had to actually break it down to see it. Now what about some of the other damages? Um like to the electrical, the wiring looked pretty bad. I am not a technical person, but is that visible to the eye? Or did you have to actually take down, take apart the truck to see any? All, all of the pictures you saw, um, with the exception of the internal pump parts, were visible standing underneath the truck. So we've known for years that the wiring has had problems. Um, we've known for quite some time that the cab mounts were, were not in good shape. Um, you know, I think some of the surprises to us were the conditions of the brakes and the conditions of the springs. Uh, the radiator, we knew it had problems. Um, it has the truck has problems defrosting its own windshield, so there's, there's definitely a problem there. Thank you. Do you have any other questions? Then, yeah. Sue. If all these things were visible, how come they weren't fixed? <laughs> I mean, if I, I looked at all those pictures, if my mechanic in my garage saw that all a lot of that stuff on my car it would be fixed immediately so it could pass inspection i looked at a lot of springs i see that impeller i see a lot of that's the actuators the holes the, the gaskets that are loose why wasn't that stuff fixed it's there to be seen right um i guess i don't have a real good answer for you other than we rely on our mechanics to, to tell us what the deficiencies are in the vehicle and to take care of them. I, I can tell you that I believe that the department over the years has had a very conservative approach to maintenance, um, do uh, what we have to to keep the truck on the road and keep it safe. Um, I can also tell you that some of the mentality going into uh, this past budget session was um, the mindset that we were replacing the truck. Um, so let's hold off on any major repairs. There's no sense in putting good money into a truck that's going to be replaced. And it wasn't until we came to the to the budget committee um, and our minds were changed on that. Those pictures are unbelievable. They really are. I'm very Chief. surprised. Chief. One more question, oh. if I could, please, of Scott. What is the cost for the election? Maybe a thousand bucks. Why is it that years ago we always set aside five thousand dollars for an unexpected? Um, election should one come up. Somebody's fooling somebody. I think it's a good thing to note uh, when we look at election budget next year. If we have four elections, we have four thousand dollars in the budget. What do we have now? Instead of twenty, right? Uh, I don't know what we have now. I, I thought it was higher either. than that. Are you now in your budget committee meeting? No, yes, we are. We are now in the budget committee meeting. <laughs> Um, you know, clearly, I have no idea what you were told in the past or how those numbers were justified. But in, in the current budget, we did a pretty exact calculation um, based on, I think, four elections that were anticipated in 2012, those being the town meeting, a uh, primary, a presidential primary, and a general election in November. Um, so if you look at that election and registration budget, and divide by four, and, and I want to say it was thirty six, thirty eight hundred dollars, something like that. So it's, it's, you know, my best estimate is it's less than a thousand dollars an election. I'm very happy to hear that. Um, that's what's the number? If that's your correct number, sixty four hundred. So if you divide sixty four hundred by four, um, sixteen hundred an election. So you know, I guess it was a thousand. I, I can tell you that the moderator has said she will not be paid. She's here uh, and has refused to be paid. So that's saving us some money for this election as well. All credit to Sandy. <laughs> so that's probably what gets us from sixteen hundred to a thousand. I think it's the hors d'oeuvres and the beer that we have. The uh, the two thousand twelve budget that I'm looking at on Skip's computer has nineteen thousand five hundred dollars for four elections. In your budget, 
19,000. Uh, I, I just showed me 6,400. I might have looked at something yeah. wrong there, Jerry. I thought I saw 6,400 here. I, I know that our two, our three supervisors of the checklist have paid $204 in elections, so that is $612 for those three individuals. Then we pay our election workers $8.50 an hour. They work roughly a 14-hour day. I think there's five of them. So five times 850 times 14 plus 612. Yeah. And, and then you can throw uh, um, FICAR and Medicare to that. It's um, you know, Excuse me, uh, Scott, I'm sorry. I, I, there's some other costs involved with it, the printing, et cetera, that I did not. Terry's uh, closer to correct there, 20819 um, there is a, f a fee for the ballots. There is a fee for the uh, chip that goes into the Accu machine. Um, but again, I, you know, I don't. It's certainly not a ten thousand dollar figure. No. Um, uh, uh, it's probably two. It's probably close. It's not what's in the budget. Yeah. 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 Well, there are other costs in there. There were costs for some election booths in that budget that we won't be purchasing. Um, there are some oh, other supplies fine. and things yes, that um, cover <laughs> that <laughs> office for the year, so. Um, one, go ahead. Uh, Chief? Chief? I want to go back to the engine four. Was refurbished in 1998. Yes. That included pump replacement? No. It did not. It, it included pump work, but the pump was never opened until this year. Well, why don't we just go around the table and say, Pat, do you have anything you'd like to add or something to Kevin speak? Kevin? Well, Chief, if, if you could stay out there for a minute. Um, this flyer, I don't know why, I, I assume you made it. It was passed out, I think, the second budget committee that we were meeting that we took up the fire pump issue, the fire truck issue last time. Um, it's not a says the uh, pump was rebuilt in 2006. I had asked Sean that when he came to the selectmen's meeting, he said it wasn't done by these regions, not a fire apparatus. Um, I pulled a uh, freedom of, uh, a uh, right to know request. I've got $42 worth of copies. And I was up at the wee hours in the morning while driving a truck trying to figure this all out. And, the closest I could find was a invoice from Lakes Region. It had a bunch of work, mostly uh, valves and uh, primer. It seems like the primer was, was a constant problem with this truck. I see that reoccurring invoice after invoice. I see Sean's nodding his head in agreement. Um, and, and while it was there, but that, that's the closest I could find to a pump rebuild, which I'm assuming it didn't even, the pump didn't come apart, right? Okay, um, so I'm assuming maybe that didn't happen, but at the same time, the other day, at the firehouse, sitting down with Mr. Andrews, or Deputy Chief Andrews, we, we reviewed all the uh, test results year after year, and it seemed to me there was a noted depreciation of performance year after year after year and, and, and it was the same with the other engines as well and I, I assume that's pretty much notable that's normal until we got to between 2006 and 2007 the improvement went I mean it was halved it got way way better so I mean I look at that and I say well Maybe the pump was rebuilt in 2006. Do you have any information who did it? What happened? No, uh, my information came from the same invoice that you saw. Okay. Um, I, I think my um, information and maybe my terminology uh, is not the same terminology that you would use. Um, but one of the things that I found also is that the uh, um, when you look at the narrative there, it says pump service, remove, rebuild, and reinstall as needed tank fill, one, two, four, discharges, master drain, pumps, uh, pump packing, diagnose primer, uh, found veins, burnt, um, well, let's see here, master gauges replaced. Uh, but there was also, um, at that same time, or around the same time, I believe that the gearbox was rebuilt as well. Um, 
I think that was a year earlier. I did see that. So, uh, you know, I guess the question as to pump performance, um, certainly with all of those repairs made to that pump, um, you would expect that the performance of the pump would increase, um, especially in the areas of like the dry prime test and so forth. But if there was wear to the impellers or to the wear rings inside that pump, that would continue to be a problem. Now, I, I, get, I get a few questions. At that same invoice, that same uh, trip to Lakes Region, when I don't know if it got a state inspection, it says checked over for state inspection. I don't know if they were just using a normal check for you. I believe we were just asked to just confirm that it was safe. Okay. Well. That was back when that issue started with whether or not you're getting good inspections or not. We were. All right. Yeah, it doesn't say it was inspected. No, it says checked over. Look at it, but we did look at it. And it said found found front and rear springs flat, not broken. Several oil leaks. However, truck passes. Truck will leave for 2007. Now this is dating back to July 10th of 2006. We're nearly six years ago. Radiator replacement didn't happen. Electrical rib repairs under and around pump. Several connectors wire corroded. Hanging. Rear booster tank cushions missing may require tank to pull. This is stuff that six years ago, I, I know that the rear booster tank cushions were fixed at the DPW. I found the invoice for that. Nobody thinks it's funny. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, but I mean, the radiator, it, it's a $2,300 radiator. We know it's a little labor intensive to, to put it in, it goes up through the roof there's a uh, panel with was about 36 bolts That's right. 16 bolts you slide all the way it, it slides in from the top um, there's there's no mistaking that, that, that the, there was plenty of indicators long ago that some of these things needed to be fixed and it hadn't been fixed I mean we're talking six years and now it's critical and, and the simple fact is, I mean, had the voters approved this truck in March, we were still looking at a year, 10 months or a year before we could, could take delivery. The truck had to be maintained. I mean, that's nothing to play with. I mean, all these things, the brakes, the front brakes, I mean, that's a, I mean, Sean can probably uh, contest, I mean, doing that front brake can really isn't a big deal, is it? Any one of these repairs are not right. They're not a big I deal. I tell you right now, the brake can itself costs in the neighborhood of uh, that's a twenty-four can, I assume. Yeah. Twenty-four type, maybe three dollars, right? I'm uh, more than that. I, I'm paying about right. fifty-five for that one. I get good quality. Well, I paid forty fifty-seven for a thirty thirty can, dual chamber. So I buy good quality. I'm just saying. May well, I that's fine. But either way, it's it's it's. it's May I interrupt for a moment? Um, we've. I think it's been well established that you have found a number of maintenance issues. That is not, we, we cannot, we, there's nothing we can do about it, the, what wasn't done, it's, that is more open. No, 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 no. But we are, but the question is, we can't, we can't fix something that wasn't fixed in 2006, no. 26. The question is what can we, what can we do from today on and, and that's because that's my all concern. we're doing is rehashing and rehashing that that, that is my concern I, I i'll tell you right now i'm not so opposed to getting a new truck if i knew that i, I want to see a system a real system in place that's going to be maintained properly i mean i'm seeing some of the same symptoms on the other trucks as well i mean you're going to have some of the same problems i mean most of those pictures we've seen is salt corrosion that's what the hammer was asked for today on the other truck that I was looking for. Salt corrosion. And, and, and I've made a recommendation that maybe we should be finding some method to wash the undercarriage, wash the salt off before you put it in a heated garage, which accelerates the rotten process. And I've been excoriated for that. I, I was told it was a, it was a ridiculous uh, suggestion and that, that's not what firefighters get paid to do. Well, I think that but, but you but we're not arguing your point we um, we accept what you found and I, I also believe that the chief and um, the deputy are looking I mean we can't criticize him 
for no, things that weren't done in 26 because he, he wasn't, wasn't here. here he wasn't here that's right and if he's initiated he says um the chief has said that he has begun since 20 um to improve his maintenance record and the and the keeping on um and i everyone in this room knows that i have no knowledge really of computers but it seems that if you said you were starting some computer things we can put all of this um information when the car when it's serviced when it's washed down every all those little checklists if they can go on the computer they're there forever because i do know that thumb drives can hold a lot of information for years because i'm trying to find information on a thumb drive from 1974. so i'm saying that if unless somebody has something else that is beyond maintenance that they would like to bring up i that's Madam Chair, I, I, like I really think this is relevant to the conversation. Well, I'm not saying it's not I'm, irrelevant. I, I I'm mean, saying we're that here. We're, I assume you're going to want to have a vote to recommend it. Not recommend. I mean, we have to have a real discussion, a real debate about this. Well, I like to see if anyone else has something else right. other than the maintenance. Clock TV.